Hi friends, welcome to Databricks uh, video tutorials. This is Ravi. Uh, today we are going to start with the Spark SQL uh, database operations. So first we'll start with uh, how to create a database and uh, where it will create a database and backend file system. What is data like? That we will understand today. And previous videos have gone through that uh, basic uh, like how to create a Databricks community edition, how to start a practical session in cloud, and how to use a Databricks community edition. For that, I have uh, done two videos. Even I have done another video on OLTP and OLAP, traditional data warehousing project and other information I did. So please uh, go through those videos. And today primarily we will focus on database creation in Databricks. Then backend file system, what is data like? And uh, what will be the backend file system whenever you create a table or database in Databricks. So that we will go through today. So let's start with the practical session. We'll get a more clarity on how to create a database in Databricks SQL. So I'm going to share my screen. Now, so once you log into the community edition, so here you can see the community edition, right? So there, uh, first we need to create a compute, my compute already available. Okay, if compute is not available, you can create a new compute, but only one you can create because the community edition limitation is only one compute. So that, that's enough for learning purpose. Then go to the workspace. Uh, as I told you, so which you need to import this Databricks DBC file, uh, which contains complete a Spark SQL related tutorial. So we'll start with the DDL, data definition language. So when it comes to data definition language, primary thing is databases. How to create a database, how to create a database, how to create a table, how to create a view, then database DDL operations like alter view, or you can say drop database, drop table, drop view, all these, these operations you can find in data definition language. First, we'll start with the database. So if you go to the left side, like if you expand the menu, right? So there you see the separate option called data. So data means here you can find the databases. As of now, only default database is available. We don't see any databases. So attach the cluster. So here you can attach the cluster. And if you want to clear state and cell output, you can do this. If, if notebook already having some state and output, it will clear. And you can start the new new session. And I have given a syntax how to create a database and uh, available options. Directly we'll start with the option. So how to create a database. So I want to create a database. So create database, database name. So what I'll do, I'll create a Spark SQL underscore DB. The database name I'm going to create uh, Spark SQL underscore DB. Then the right side, you see the run this cell. You can, once you click on this run, the command is going to execute and database is created, which you can find here. You see this. Database is created. Now, if you want to describe database, describe database, database name. So this is the database. So describe, so it will give you the information about your database. What is your database name? This is the database name where it is created spark catalog and the location where it is going to store this is the location this is the location so whenever you create a database and whenever you create a table in spark spark is using hive catalog so that's why the default location of uh, warehouse location is this one user hive warehouse inside that it will create one folder called with database name dot db okay Let's create one table inside this database and understand that. Create table. I'm going to create a table name as customers and two columns, ID integer, name string. And where I'm going to, I'm going to create this table inside this database. So you need to specify database name dot, then table name. So this table is going to create inside this database. Now, so if you click on this data, there you see the database, right? As of now, we don't see any tables. Once it is up, 
once it is done and uh, you can see that new table in in ui spark so here is data under data you can see the ui so there you can see the table still creation in progress whenever you are creating a databricks table in databricks default table type it will create as delta table now you can go here you see this table is available you can click on that it will show you the information about columns it will show you the information about columns two columns are available when it is created that information you can see this history as well okay so this is the table first we created only table so it's a delta table edit log also will be available that you will understand in delta okay now go to the notebook workspace notebook now if i insert any record so where it will store in this table but we need to understand the back end physical location of your databases and tables so what i'll do i'll comment this command and i'll insert one record insert into this table insert into this table then values one customer id one name ravi just i'm going to insert one record only one record to understand where it is creating a table where it is storing the data so whenever you create a database or whenever you create a table in databricks the default location always remember this is the warehouse location this is the warehouse location now go and verify using file system percentage fs so percentage fs ls ls is the listing files where and the user and the hive and the warehouse the database name will be created as your database name dot db as a folder because it's a database under that it will create another subfolder your table name so here you can find the data okay here you can find the data so whenever you create a table or a database as a default location user hive warehouse default warehouse location now you see this data is available here so delta table so now we are not specified any location so default location is this one always remember default warehouse location so how it is going to create a default warehouse location okay now just i am going to show you a few more uh, syntaxes just i have given uh, multiple examples in this notebook you can go through this now so this is spark parameter called spark.sql.warehouse.directory so if you query this you will get to you know parameter location default value this is the default value means whenever you create a database whenever you create a table it is going to store the information in this location that's a physical location that is data like so databricks community is in default it is integrated with aws s3 that's a aws s3 location now that's why it is created here so always remember that is a default location of your warehouse now i specified a table as database name dot table so it is created under this folder if i'm not specifying a database name then where it will create outside so that is default location so i'm going to create another table the same table also i can create again if i'm not specifying the location database name then the table will be created in default database so where in default database i will show you that again so backend is file system backend is file system if you go to data default database this is a default database you can see the table and physical location so without database name under warehouse all default tables will be available here under here under warehouse then table so we are not inserted any record that's why you don't see any data you don't see any data now if i insert data one record will be available in that location as a data file now if you query this 
percentage fs is one of the file system option which we can query the file system backend is distributed data that is distributed file system or you can say data lake this is so whenever you are creating a database default it will go and create in default warehouse location because spark does not have own meta store so spark is using hive meta store so hive meta store default location is this one so that's why you can find this parameter value so as a parameter it is available you can use a spark.conf.get so spark.sql. Warehouse dot directory. So this is the parameter value default location is this one. And Databricks file system. So DBFS means Databricks file system. The backend is a data lake, AWS S3 bucket. And file system here, how you can communicate that DBFS Databricks file system, which you can communicate a backend storage distributed file system. Now if I want to create any database in different location, if I want to create any database in different location, even that is possible. So which you can provide the location keyword, then you can specify the location. I want to create a, a folder called Spark SQL under databases. Then uh, I need to create this database name as this one. Okay, or we'll create a new database name. okay so create database database name and location so what will happen whenever you create database in a specific location it won't store in default warehouse this location it will be available in this location let's show you describe describe database database name so now you can see this is the database location database location okay now if you run it again what will happen database already available it will raise exception saying that database already created now if you don't want to raise any exception just if you want to ignore you can use like uh, other databases if not exist if not exist always remember sql is not a case sensitive language okay but paths python are case sensitive path and python are case sensitive so even if you specify lowercase, uppercase, mixed case, it doesn't matter. Create database if not exist. If already available, ignore that. If already available, ignore that. So this way which we can go for creating a database in Databricks. So those databases will be available here. This is a default location. This is a de different location, which is external location. This is external location. And whenever you create a table, whenever you create a table inside this database, so the table will be located in this location okay let's create a table so create table uh, the name is uh, table name i'm going with uh, employee id as an integer name as a string just i'm going for this one and i'm going to create under ravi underscore db database so in this location you can find the table so just if you verify the file system you can find a separate folder for this table as emp you see this so inside that that's the physical location of your table so because inside the database you created right where the database is available it will go and create in that location and if you go to the data here even you can see the database and table inside this database the table is available so this way which we can go for creating databases creating database in databricks using spark sql sql is one of the common language so spark sql and the backend meta store when it comes to this meta store is spark met catalog nothing but hive catalog so they are using hive hive is an open source warehouse okay and spark also open source so they are integrated here so instead of developing their own metadata catalog, they are using Spark cat so Hive catalog here. That's all. And Databricks, they are develop another Unity catalog so that will be available in only Enterprise Edition. Recently, it is under public preview. 
you can use in only enterprise edition. It is not available in community edition. So this is the default is Hive catalog. Another Unity catalog which is developed by Databricks that is available only in enterprise edition. Even you can check the documentation. Databricks Unity catalog. It's a new new product, uh, mainly for uh, lake house architecture, data mesh purpose. So they introduced another one is Unity catalog. So as of now, uh, existing Hive and the existing uh, Spark which you cannot use a primary key foreign key constraints but this catalog is supporting those constraints okay so that's a unity catalog it's a new service from databricks which is available only in enterprise edition community edition it is not available okay that so this is about uh, creating a database in databricks so next what we will do next what we will do we'll understand creating a table and a draw creating a view dropping database dropping table dropping view so that see you in another video thank you